Jacob, anything different from uh, this, this changed over the past week? What's the, the thing that's improved or regressed the most? Competitiveness. Um, we're doing a lot more situational things where like we're going to be on the 40-yard line with 12 seconds left or situations like that. So everyone's getting a lot more competitive, and that's, that's the difference. What's been the success rate on those 40-yard drills? Uh, if I told you, I have to kill you. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the coaches would say. <laughs> It's, I, uh, when I was parking, I heard them using the, the sound machine. How much does that help you guys kind of prepare for road games? Yeah, so they put um, speakers on the ceilings and all throughout the locker room. So we always have a couple guys that get on the aux cord and play the music they want, and it really helps us really get our juices flowing and ready for practice. Do you all ever do the crowd noise kind of stuff? We do that in practice a lot in, in those situations, in those situational moments. What are your thoughts from the skirmish? What, I guess, stuck with you from that? Uh, we're going to be really good this year. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we're going to be – defense looks good. Their offense looks good. Their special team looks good too. Um, I think the, the only thing holding us back, if, it, if anything does hold us back, is ourselves. So if, if we can figure that out, which we're, we're, we're getting on, we're getting along doing, we'll be, we'll be a really good team this year. How much did Kurt open up the playbook during the scrimmage? Was it all then or did he keep you guys kind of limited? Um, it was, it was a little bit limited because he didn't want to give everything away to the defense because we still have to go against them every day. But, uh, I mean, he's still trying to figure out what he wants to do with our offense. How do you all manage that balance as far as, you know, sometimes the defense can all know what you're doing just because they see you so often, but you also want to at least get your work in? Well, in football, it's, it's like that everywhere. They, they can see what we're doing by the, by the sets we, we start in. So they, they get quicker and quicker off the line, which may, forces us to get quicker and quicker off the line and seeing what the defense, seeing what their pre-play is. So like if they have a safety over top of someone, you have to know someone slant inside. So that really helps us manage the game better. Jacob, how much do you and the other tight ends deal with Coach Wolf on the offensive line? Uh, he, he, we, we calibrate with him a lot. Um, it's really more him and Coach Washington, but they, they, he really relays it to us because we're doing the same thing as them on some sure. plays, so everyone has to be on the same page. So just about blocking schemes and mm -hmm. that kind of thing? Yes, sir. How did Jake look in the scrimmage, and what was his maybe his best play, his best throw? Jake's best throw. I don't know how many yards it was, but he threw he threw a pretty big bomb to Debo. That was pretty exciting. And you know how Jake gets after those plays. He's running down the field, fist bumping, screaming as loud as he can. So I think that was pretty, probably his best play. He's been playing really good. Yeah, he's, he's doing really well. He's really, he's really learning the playbook more and more. Like, like I was talking to you guys last time.